good morning we are from svs embedded the project title name is called atm security system using gsm and fingerprint module so here i am using an gsm modem sim 900 and i am using an fingerprint module r305 fingerprint module i am using uh, let us go in for a abstract so once we are pressing the finger facing um, showing the finger it will generate the pop otp after otp we have to press the keypad so this is my uh, power supply section step down transformer bit rectifier filter capacitor and 7805 regulator so this is my arm 7 lpc 2148 i am using a fingerprint module max 232 and it was connected to the uart1 and power supply section and 16 cross 2 LCD display and uh, I am using a 4 cross 3 keypad and driver racing 1 DC motor for the transaction so uh, alarm and I am using one SIM 900 so LPC 2148 and uh, here I am using a hardware components software and the hardware this is my hardware kit so here I am using an ARM7 LPC2148 so QDPIC quadrupole dual in package line total 64 pin first of all we are going for a transformer 230 input step down transformer 9 volts output AC it is given to the bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator and a power supply LED and after that we are going for a uh, LM3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator why because of we are using an LPC low power consumption it is working under 3.3 volts and after that remaining components all are working under 5 volts so here the port 0 it is connected to the 16 cross 2 LCD display character LCD display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD and this is the ISP button and this is the reset button if you are pressing the reset it, the data will be displayed so here this is an crystal 11 12 megahertz crystal this is the heart of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal cpu to run the program and here uart0 and uart1 uart0 it is connected to the gsm modem and uart1 it is connected to the uh, fingerprint module uart0 so it is connected to the P0.0 and 0.1 UART1 it is connected to the P0.8 and P0.9 so he, this, here I am using a GSM modem SIM900 uh, so it will, it will work under 850 MHz to 1800 MHz frequency you can use any GSM SIM card so here UART1 it is connected to the MAX232 board and it is connected to the R305 fingerprint module so if you want to change the fingerprint you have to use any of the uh, usb2 rs232 cable of the computer and if you need to insert here go for uh, sfg software and you can change the fingers 9600 depend upon the comport which comport your computer here you have to insert the uart here you can insert here and you can change the finger means you need to remove this one first of all remove this one insert this one insert this and you can change why because I am using the finger 1 finger 2 finger 3 if you any other finger is uh, giving like if I am giving any of the finger so it will tell you that wrong finger so here I am using an here I am using an 4 cross 3 keypad 4 cross 3 keypad 1 2 3 like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 star 0 s like our telephone keypad so it is connected to the p1 cap 16 1 cap 17 1 cap 18 1 cap 19 20 21 22 total 7 pins okay so here i'm using an one buzzer and one dc motor called a transaction completed means the dc motor will be on first of all i'm going for a so this is my mobile phone it will get the sms alert so like uh, gsm test to okay or whatever it may be okay so first of all so we are going to reset the button 
ATM security system using using finger GSM and fingerprint module it will send one SMS to our owner mobile phone called DSM test to OK GSM test to OK GSM test to OK okay uh, it, 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 it will showing the scan your finger so this is my first finger second finger third finger so if I am pressing if I am showing the finger we need to we need to press the button so I am giving like that only so why because uh, uh, if, if the continuously fingerprint scans now there will be a problem so press the finger show the correct one if you are if you are not showing it will give you the buzzer alert called finger wrong something so so this is my first finger now so it will show you that pass uh, pass is one two three four so it is showing that enter your password one two three four password correct motor is on like transaction completed hmm? scan any other finger so I am going to give any other finger so this is my second finger ok wrong one match not found why please show your correct proper way ok so I have to show properly if you are pressing third same it will send you that uh, you are you are not showing the uh, properly this uh, two times are over this is the third time okay match found OTP sent to 4567 okay now I'm I'm going to press 4 4 I'm I'm giving wrong password one time one time wrong password actually my password is 4567 but I am going to give wrong two times completed this is the third time so actually I am the right finger but password is 4567 but I am giving three times wrong three times wrong it will send the uh, SMS to the owner mobile somebody doing wrong theft alert it will tell you that theft, theft alert right if you are giving the if you are showing the wrong finger it will tell you that somebody is trying like theft alert if you are giving the right finger but you are giving the OTP is the wrong it will also tell, tell you that theft alert so if uh, if the prop finger is correct and the OTP is correct, the DC motor will be rotated. Okay, thanking you. If there is any doubt, let me know to SVS embedded.